She has a criminal justice degree from Sacramento State. Now she's pursuing her master's degree. And today, for the first time before the media, Nancy Pacheco let the world know she's undocumented. We're not hiding anymore, and we're not scared, and we're not going to stand behind the shadows at this point. Pacheco is a so-called dreamer. She came to the U.S. illegally with her parents when she was almost two. She joined two other dreamers at a news conference flanked by State Attorney General Javier Becerra, who says he's confident the high court will rule on the side of the 700,000 DACA recipients. Their health, their financial well-being, their livelihoods would be impacted by a bad outcome in the Supreme Court. Valerie Blanco is a sociology Spanish double major at UC Davis. She holds down two jobs on campus to help pay her college. She became emotional, detailing how her parents kept her undocumented status a secret until she got to high school. How do I convey to everyone the tremendous fear that comes from being undocumented? The feeling like you are screaming and no one is hearing your pain. Dulce Garcia is a criminal defense and immigration attorney. She came with her parents to the U.S. when she was four. Her path to citizenship so far has been a difficult one. I myself have received numerous hate messages and death threats as a result of this lawsuit. Nancy Pacheco hopes to one day be a law enforcement officer. However, right now, federal law prevents her dream from becoming a reality. We don't fear our situation anymore, that we're going to use this and take a run with it. It's anyone's guess as to when the U.S. Supreme Court will issue their ruling on the DACA case after Tuesday. Their session ends in June of next year.